Hey there, we're going to be taking a look at the Tomb Raider reboot running on the i5 1135G7. Now, this whole series has been given away for free on Epic, so I decided to give it a go on this chip. And you're currently looking at this at 1080p lowest settings. At these settings, the gaming experience is very, very consistent. It's very good, but the quality is kind of noticeably bad especially in moments where we get up close and personal with laura we really start to see the textures are just not great at all so messing around with the settings might net you a little bit better of a visual experience but you'll see again we are at the edge of what i consider to be perfectly playable because i mean those one percent lows are good those averages look good now currently we're in an enclosed space but as things, you know, start to get more intense and there's more going on, the performance still holds up. And as we continue on to the more open areas of the game, you'll start to see the performance still holds up pretty well. Obviously, we're not hitting a consistent 60 all the time, but even then 1% lows at 44, you know, like once we're in these areas, they're not too, too common throughout the game. You're not going to have these situations where you're going to have these open vistas and stuff like that. But the, the things do open up a bit more and the performance might fluctuate a bit. But for the most part, you are going to have a very consistent experience. But let's mess around with some settings just to see what kind of performance we can get out of here. And if we can't improve these visuals. So switching over the graphics quality from low to medium does net us a good improvement visually. I mean, before when things had like just the lowest possible textures right up close it looked pretty bad but at medium settings we we get a bit of that detail back and it really starts to fill out the image more but as you'll see the performance hit is pretty noticeable we are now not even remotely close to 60. we're definitely in situations where we're kind of struggling through but the visual improvement is noticeable so it's debatable on how worth it this is for this kind of game, honestly, I think the visuals do matter a bit that I would probably play it like this instead of playing at low, but really it's up to you. Of course, I also decided to try out 1080p high and the performance is very, very bad. We are in slideshow territory. This is this is Ubisoft cinematic level of uh, performance. So I would say 1080p high settings is just too much. It's way too much. Now, I also tried 720p high settings, and honestly, this was was surprising. You're getting very, very good frame rates here, like a pretty much consistent 60 FPS for the most part. And you get really, really nice visuals to everything around you. Things are just a little bit blurry because of the fact that it's 720p. But the performance and the visuals are really, really nicely balanced. And if you compare this to 1080p normal, you'll see that there's some noticeable detail improvement to like objects and stuff like that on the 720p settings but 1080p high does look a lot or 1080p medium rather does look a bit better but you end up in a situation where uh the frame rate just isn't as consistent so you get a little bit less like or a little bit worse visuals and uh, a little bit like worse frame rate for 1080p normal but the image is a bit clearer so again, it's really all just up to personal taste, but I'm actually thinking 720p high settings is the way I'd go.